Now, as I said yesterday, three civilians were killed inside the kosher supermarket. We believe at this time that all three were shot by the suspects within minutes of the shooters entering the store. We know that a fourth civilian fled from the scene with the suspects shooting at him as he ran across the street. We also know that within minutes of the suspects taking control of the store, Anderson and Graham began firing at law enforcement officers who responded on foot and by patrol car. At this point, our evidence indicates that the shooters were aiming their fire at law enforcement officers only and not at others on the street. We continue to gather evidence regarding the motives of the shooters. We have identified a number of social media accounts that we believe were used by the suspects and purport to espouse certain viewpoints. We are currently working to determine the authenticity of these accounts and to gather other evidence that we can use to corroborate these views. But based on what we have collected so far, however, including based on recent witness interviews, we believe that the suspects held views that reflected hatred of the Jewish people, as well as a hatred of law enforcement. We are still working to determine how they selected their particular targets for these attacks, specifically both the J.C. Kosher supermarket and Detective Joseph Seals. There has been considerable reporting that these two suspects are linked to the black Hebrew Israelite movement. We have evidence that both suspects expressed interest in this group, but we have not definitively established any formal links to that organization or to any other group. Based on the available evidence, we believe that the two shooters were acting on their own, but we will continue to pursue all leads. So let me be plain at this point. The evidence points towards acts of hate. I can confirm that we're investigating this matter as potential acts of domestic terrorism, fueled both by anti-Semitism and anti-law enforcement beliefs. All of us here today will continue to be present in the days and in the weeks and in the months ahead. We are all grieving, but none more so than the families of the victims. Through the Victim Services Office of our Division of Criminal Justice, we are in contact with those families, and we will continue to provide whatever support we can. And in at least one case, we are making arrangements to pay for the funeral expenses of the victim. Um, you can see clearly from the video that the individuals that engaged, the cowards that took down those innocent victims, um, engaged only the folks in that store and in the law enforcement community. You could see people walking by. They didn't engage anyone. They were clearly targeting that store. They were clearly targeting the Jersey City Police Department. Okay, um, we don't know why, and that's what we're. That's where we are now. Now we're at the stage of the investigation where we try to piece together everything we can from social media, from ballistic evidence from whatever we can learn about these individuals to determine why it was that particular store, which is something we don't know at this point in time, those particular individuals, and what the inflection point was for the incident. Way out or um, Paul, Peter, and the office.